safe. Yeah, we're keeping our eye on the finish line. He is right behind the, yeah, he's right behind these two JPD motorcycle officers. Well, not right behind. Those two runners are not. Here it goes. We're watching him. You'll know him when you see him. Yep. There he is. Here he comes. Gliding through. <laughs> and you're, and you're well, right here. You to watch him. It doesn't look like he's going as fast as we know he is. He's incredibly effortless. He's just talented. And he trains extremely hard. And he works very hard. And he, he deserves to be a champion. He said he's a really great runner. Did he break his record from last time? I think he ran faster than he ran last year. Um, I'm not sure if that's a personal record for him, but it's, it's probably close. That's an incredibly fast time. And only now that he stopped do we see him lean over and right. take a breath. <laughs> and you see that, oh, this actually was taxing. It is interesting when you see people finish, they get they. They, they're running fast and they just kind of fall over right when they cross the finish line. That's all they've got. They just, they, they push themselves to the maximum effort they can have. And then there's just such a relief when you're done that you're just, it's over, you're done. You're, you can go back to not running that fast again. And we have 16 WAPT's Marcus Hunter who is there, right there with our winner. Do we have, I think Marcus is trying to get our first interview with Peter. Do we have Marcus? Yes, I am here with Peter Kazari and Peter, Last year you came in second, but the year before you won this thing, and I can see it in your face last year, you were a little disappointed. And this year you come out of here and you win it again. Just talk about it. Oh, <laughs> it's a great course. Um, what's it called? Probably felt uh, a little too giddy off the start and uh, lucky to <laughs> come in just as strong because I was starting to uh, definitely cramp in the last um, four or so miles. And uh, what's it called? I mean, Oh, Sun's out. To uh, it's starting to, you know, one starting to play effect on, on everybody out on How's the course. Been? So, uh, good? Good? just blessed to finish uh, the way I did. Um, had a little rerouting issues, more probably my fault, but uh, so ended up getting a little extra credit today. <laughs> and um, you know, the thing that I find interesting is now because of the double loop. We could just see you guys come through for the first half. I mean, you came through here flying, man. I mean, you came through like you had just started the race. Just kind of talk about all the energy you had after finishing that first half of the marathon. That's um, a lot of people uh, maybe didn't know what to expect uh, for the double loop. But honestly, a lot of awesome energy through Jackson. Um, people out supporting everybody on the half, the 10K, the 5K. Um, so. Uh, the, that was probably um, that was probably part of my uh, energy, um, and it was uh, just kind of holding on the moment, momentum. But it was awesome, um, awesome environment. A lot of great, um, like uh, JSU's band was out. Um, that was awesome. Running through, uh, I thought it was really neat running through Jackson. Um, the just um, running through like the uh, bigger buildings, um, at least for our area. Um, I thought it was a cool, um, cool little twist, and um, definitely um, a lot of a lot of folks out on the course. Um, and it was, um, you know, it's something that uh, it's a it's a sleeper event in the sense of it's a lot of fun um, and and getting out supporting people you know or just um, enjoying and kind of um, seeing what it's like to um, have a um, a local marathon in your uh, in your uh, in your hometown. And I'll talk about that a little bit, um, you know, being able to have more of this race in downtown, the Jackson, being able to see the state capitol, being able to see um, the Anybody Supreme Court building in Mississippi. Scott, talk about some of those um, historic marathon, places marathon that you were able to run by, right and not only for folks who are go. from Jackson, but folks who are not from here to get an opportunity to see that part of the city while running the marathon course. <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, I mean, I just like leaning up to the race. I always run. Uh, I don't shade away from running in Jackson. I think actually it's something that people take for granted and there's a lot of not neat areas to run and um, just a great way to preview the course. Um, but kind of going through, seeing the Capitol, all the, the work they've done there looks really nice. Um, and um, they're uh, just kind of uh, touching on all the high points <laughs> and low points of Jackson. Uh, but honestly, it really was uh, um, like compared to the course in the past, and not necessarily, not trying to um, say like it's better or worse, but it is, um, it, it brings its own um, 
like a tactical uh, parts because the last if you um, I always almost guilty myself of coming uh, coming in and not having like because those hills they're still hills um, hills fine the first loop um, but the second loop is the second loop is where the truth starts to come through um, it's the same as um, football um, second half of the game you got to make those adjustments be ready when uh, be ready to work through the hills and then work through um, all the uh, like uh, just making sure you navigate properly through all the runners which in this case I still think it's a, a great thing to have um, like not only um, I can encourage them but they can do the same thing like it's a um, great way for everybody to uh, kind of uh, get that race um, energy um, but awesome it's always great to see someone local win the Mississippi Blues Marathon so yeah did it this year you did it two years ago you're gonna go for it again next year. Can we see you out here again next year, going for the gold? We'll see. I mean, uh, it's all, um, a lot of it is just like um, any other sport. Your um, your health plays a factor. Um, so I'll know around October, or November, uh, whether I'm feel how I'm feeling, um, and that can dictate you know what uh, because running is just like or any other sport. You want to be healthy um, and managing your body is uh really important so i'd love to be out here um but not gonna put it in just just right off the bat but it's an awesome event great for jackson um love uh love the energy um and uh uh thanks for continental for um lacing up and and uh doing another um uh, year of um support for the for sponsorship for the race and it's um something that hopefully um they continue to ride the Ride the road. All right. Well, <clears throat> well thank you so much, and uh, congratulations uh, yet yeah. again. I know don't want to get too far ahead of yourself for next year, so go ahead and enjoy this one, and uh, hopefully we'll see you back here doing the same thing next year.